welcome back to Save Your Steam Day. Hope you have had a refreshment and are ready for some more blood and guts in a dangerous <laughs> drum. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Encampment, I suppose. Castle de Drum. Um, so, Citadel. you have just killed the drow wizard. Yep. And Terror, or sorry, Mara, you know that your banishment spell will run out in about 35 seconds and you will have a priestess reappear where she came from. Mara will motion that's for why left, That's why I've left her on the on the board so you can see yeah, yeah. where she's going to return. Uh, Mara's basically going to motion for, she's going to say, the priestess will return 30, 30 seconds about. So everybody make yourself ready to, to, to hit her when she appears. She was right over there. Altum I can make her appear sooner if we want to. Altum will draw his vicious short sword um, and on the way over. Well, he, he might even go past it and pick up uh, his dagger. You, you've got enough time to go and do that, so that's fine. Picked up the dagger. He, the, the wizard, when he pulled it out his eye, he just threw it at his feet. He didn't, like, toss it miles away or anything. <laughs> Through the wall. Uh, Mara and Serik? I'll aim <laughs> a Elrish Blast at the general the entire okay, order. Okay, that's Serik, there's something a bit weird about your character sheet. You've currently got 73 out of 58 hit points showing. Damn. It's just the Wait, Warlock huh? way. Yeah. I got a total of 85. I don't think you've been updating your maximum hit points, so your character sheet still thinks it's got... So, 85. And should I add into the grey box? It's a bit below. It's a bit below. It's 85. There we go. That's fine. Sorry, housekeeping on the sheet. And then if you take off the, the damage you got for the fireball now from the 85 then. Which was 12, so it would be 73. Yes. So Super. See on the character sheet, the, there's the smaller number underneath. That's, yeah. what your, that's what your total is, and the larger number above is what your current hit point is. It's fine. Oh, I see. Yeah, all right. Nice, 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 nice and easy. Just a wee thing. Um, it's just it's easier for me to show because I can see uh, where things are. So, um, you can all hold actions, um, and she, and then you'll basically get a a surprise round on her. Yeah. Um, uh, can I just I add? It? Can you just she add that, that where she is? She's holding onto a ticket, and it says, you know number 15 and like serving number 14 and just before she comes <laughs> serving number 15 that's when she comes back when it's her ticket number i'm going to say something slightly different to what i did i think i'm going to do it in a <clears throat> i'm going to do it in the same initiative order so it's not going to be surprise um yeah. because it wouldn't because i mean she's expecting it yeah, exactly. Okay. And then we don't have However, to roll two ones for an attack. She, there's still a high chance you're going to kill her before it gets to her turn because quite mm. a lot of you were rolled above her in the initiative anyway. Yeah. Alton, you yeah. are first to go. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> At her, like her upper thigh. Yeah, you see her. You see her like appear and sort of look around. Uh, uh, Twenty scared. Three to hit. Yes, that's that hits. She's wearing a breastplate and a shield, so she is quite well armored, but uh... seven total damage. Seven, yeah. And that's it. After you is Garvin. Right. And he will have been wielding Edge of the Mountain. Mm-hmm. So he will be attacking with that one. Double twos again. <laughs> no, but a cock die. 18. Oh, it rolled up on the 20 and then went back. 18 plus 11, so 29. Yeah, 29 hits, yeah. Just. Just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. That is a 12 damage. 12 damage. 
Then the next one is a nat one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I no. have to? I, I was just going to say, as a, a act of tradition, does this draw woman count as a giant? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, the, the other thing is, it doesn't matter what your uh, uh, two plus to hit is, because a nat one is an oh, no, automatic yeah. miss, even if yeah, you yeah. had a plus 80 to hit. Oh, of course. Um, yeah. So, Right, Mara cast Sacred Flame. Okay. Dexterity saving throw. 18. She rolled a 19. 16 plus 3. If she wears breastplate, is that not heavy armor? It doesn't give you disadvantage on deck size. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't give it? Disadvantage. I think nope. it. Oh well. Only stealth. Okay, never mind. Then Different she takes game. no damage. She takes no damage, yeah. Yeah. Um, it is her turn next. Unless you've got any movement or bonus actions to do. Nope. Right, she understands that she's in silence, but she elects not to produce the opportunity of tax. I'm just checking her spells, see if there's anything without a verbal component. <laughs> it's tough. It's like nothing, everything's got verbal component. It's... Yeah. You need like subtle spell where it negates the verbal component. So it's, it's... But she doesn't have. So what she is going to do is she's going to take out her lash, and she is she's looking round. Um, she doesn't know who to hit. So there's three of you around her. So I'm going to roll a d6. On a 1 and 2, she's going to attack Garvin. On a 3 and 4, she's going to attack Alton. And a 5 or a 6, she's going to attack Scale. That is a 6. So Scale has a lash inbound. A whip. <laughs> whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. whip. <laughs> That is a 16 plus 7, 23 to hit. Cutting words. Okay. Uh, minus 7. 16. Miss. <laughs> Bollocks. Mm. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, wait. Cutting words. <laughs> oh, no, you can't because yeah. you're in the silence. Yeah. So I have been hoisted by my own petard. <laughs> oh no! Never mind. <laughs> I see it. You get you get the okay. full hit. Ah, no, she is so. She lashes out with a lash, and I think you feel it. It sort of it doesn't like actually go around your neck. But it's, <sighs> it goes around the neck, and you get um six points sorry nine points of slashing damage and then as it connects you just feel her channeling um a power um and as she is a evil priestess there's no verbal component she channels touch of death through it which means that um she gets a uh, plus five time uh, sorry two times the cleric level um and she was fine is... yeah that's a that's a that's a channel divinity for a good old death cleric yes so I've that I've is that what level is she bear with me sorry i've done her as a npc and i've not actually put her level down so nine slashing damage Plus, did she roll max damage on her whip? Yep, six. <laughs> That's a cool ass whip. The real hurt comes next. Yeah, I know. Twenty-three necrotic. There it is. Mm, there it is. Because she's a level nine priest. Yeah, I've played a death cleric before. Are you looking there, scale? 
Oh, you know, <laughs> not like half. Nice. And uh, that is her uh, turn over. Siric, uh, you are next in the turn order. Yeah, well, it's no surprise what I'm going to do. <laughs> You're going to heal me. Yes. Uh, I'm going to use a bonus action to heal you with a healing word. No, 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 you can't. I can't. No, I can't. Wait, why not? Mm, actually, he can. He can cast it. I can't. I can't hear the word. It's, but it's him. Ca it's he has to say the words to conjure it, though. You can cast oh, on okay. people inside the silence. You just can't oh, cast from the silence. Oh, all right, that's fine. Yeah. I know, I know where you're coming from, Jabber, but I'm not going to be that evil about it. Yeah, listen. If, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If, 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 if this was like a meat grinder type thing, then I would absolutely say that both of you. Have to be. Oh, so that's a crit on the healing word. I think. No, nice. wait, no, just kidding. What does that mean? No, never mind. I rolled a d20 for a healing word. That makes no sense. <laughs> nice. It's um, pretty D4. sweet heals you got if, there. If only that was your Eldritch Blast. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a four on the on, okay. a, D, on a single d4. So. Plus okay, your charisma so modifier, plus your five, uh, special so thing. That, so that's 11. You get total. 11 total. And then I'm going to use my Eldritch Blast. That's fine. Uh, okay, so first is a 23 to hit. Hits. And the second one is an 18. 18 just hits. Okay. Okay. Kick her ass, sea bears. <laughs> okay, the first one's... Ah, uh, that wasn't too good. So 22 total. Okay, it still takes a massive chunk of her life. She is bloodied and looking very close to the edge. Oh, uh, good. And unless you want any movement to scale, you are next. I will have my revenge! <laughs> the remains of scale will attack. <clears throat> That first attack misses. I will not have my revenge. That second attack also misses. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I will, I will now flurry of blows and miss two more times. And spending okay. too much time with terror. No, don't. <laughs> okay, third one hits. All right, that's okay. fine. Fourth one hits too. Okay. Seven. Dead. Oh, thank God. You still, you called the, the flurry of blows, though, so you've still used one. Yeah, yeah, I still used it. I mean, I wasn't going to risk not killing her. <laughs> so, a minute has passed. Um, Alton, you know that the silent spell has another nine minutes to run. Um, you are temporarily out of combat again. I may, I may keep it up because it's covering the... Uh... The stairway there. Um, Obviously, if you want to chat before moving on, you'll everyone will have to move out of the effect of the spell, but uh, or unless Siric puts up Siric or moves in. Yeah, I think he will naturally have it up as much as he can, just because he knows about the stealth. Then. Ow! That's fine. Why, but I guess we have got to be hell? thirty feet of Siric for it to work. Those things oh, very much hurt. How are we all doing for for damages? I just got hit just with a <laughs> death whip. Right, right. Death whip. <laughs> then let us see if we can cure up some of that damage. And I shall cast cure the wounds on the scale. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt receive. Yeah. So thou shalt receive. Whew, nine hit points. Yeah. I... I feel healthier than I was before. 
Would you like some more healing? No, I'm fine. Kind of one of the spells. Okay. I got potions. Yeah, I know. Right. So, uh, what what doorways are out of this room? I think you said this guy was going towards the door, so there's one up here. Yes, I know that th this is like a, a map that I've just sort of got from Roll20, so um, I've added on my version doors that you may not actually physically see on the thing. So yeah, yeah. there is a door there, and then the stairs going out there into, and you can, actually, you guys would have been able to see a little bit in there. Been able to see that there. But it goes. It goes into a a, a rectangular um, oh. lower chamber. Oh, I'm gonna go check that out. You're yeah. You're currently in silence as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna stealthily go check that out. Yep. Yeah, roll stealth and then roll a perception check. Mara is going to loot the bodies. There's nothing particular on uh, on the bodies other than the armor and weapons. Um, you know, it's almost like when they're home, they don't obviously carry all their fancy bits and bobs. Yeah, no, yeah, but no keys. Uh, sixteen stealth, twenty two perception. Okay. You peek round the corner. I see that there is obviously nobody in the room. Um, but obviously you're in the silence, so you're unsure what noises what? may be coming from. What kind of room is this? It just seems to be almost like an antechamber, like a waiting room. These are benches um, on the side there, um, here and here. The other chamber that you have come out of seems to be some sort of ritual chamber. Okay. And is this a door? Is there any other doors down here? Just here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Da, 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 da. Uh, peek out of silence. Can she stick her head out of the silence just to hear? Uh, well, I, mean, well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, she doesn't. She doesn't know exactly where the edge of the silence is. No, no, not to that level. Uh, Alton could probably do that. Um, so, what was your stealth again? 16. Let me just double check something. Oh, what are the passes? Ooh. Why is that not opening up? <clears throat> oh, you're okay. But... You think you have remained unseen, but you see. Sorry, I have to do all the all the reveals and stuff. Apologies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh hello, friends. Yeah, we remember these fellas, don't we? Uh, yeah, we do. How are you unseen? <laughs> They, you can see that they are looking um, up the corridor uh, in that direction. Uh, yeah, where we would have gone. Yeah. Are we supposed to see that rectangle there? I'll, I'll no, it doesn't matter. Nothing to that. Sneak back into the silence and then fucking sprint back up here. That's right. Uh, 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 drow. A more drow in that back. Before you okay. moved, make another. Actually, what's your passive perception? Uh, 19. Okay, you definitely heard that there were more footsteps in that corridor, very silent and padded, but there were more than just the two that you saw. Okay. Ooh. Uh, a lot of. A lot of drow over in that corner, over the. Okay. Do we want to check out the door he was going for before we? Uh... Well, it looks like they're ch they're watching the hallway of the door that he was going through. Actually, I missed a door scale. Apologies, you did see another door because oh. there is a door there. Where? Where? Uh, there, just above where scale just was. Are you on the right layer? Oh. Oh, up here. Got it. Oh, there. 
No, sorry, I was pinging the GM layer yet. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so I, there, you could theory that there are two hallways. Or, yeah, or that is a second door into the same room next to where the dead wizard is. Depending on what, depending on what the layout <clears throat> is behind it. Okay. Uh, Got it. The, the, the two drow that you saw, as Mar Phoenix with her helmet, they are looking up a hallway. Did you see anything in that hallway? Where did that hallway lead? Well, no, I didn't exactly stand behind them and look over their shoulders. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I suggest we try this room before we even deal with the main force over there. The one thing um, you would have known, though, Scale, is obviously in this direction, um, I don't know if that's coming up, obviously that is the direction that, that you guys saw when the, the Alton's yeah. shatter blew the main door, so it's it's not difficult to ascertain that they've heard the noise and are maybe going to investigate what was happening at the front door. Yeah, and also I could assume that over here where the wizard is, if we were all to be there, they would probably easily be able to see up the antechamber, or is that the wall? Under- that's a that's a wall there, so they oh, that, okay. you you don't have to worry. That that is a wall. Okay, there. Then we yeah, I, that's I give you all the information. Uh, what do you want? To- I think I want to look at this room. Let's go with- like we combat in there, or at least. The other one is short. Assured, there will be combat. Can you get this ritual altar? Mm-hmm. Make a um, religion check. I will help. I mean, I didn't say I was going to do it, but... Okay, never mind. There is a set of stairs Fuck here. Off. Right? <laughs> I mean, I don't. I know. I know. I know you're good at religion, but it's not. Like, it's not like I went over to you and be like, "Hey, I'm gonna go check out this ritual altar. Come with me." No, no, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Fuck off. It's fine. <laughs> These are <laughs> stairs there, Sirik, that I, I'm pinging, but they are actually. I'm. Yeah, I'm in the right layer, but they're just going down two or three feet into the other half of the room. Um, that's just slightly sunken down. Um, so it's not, it's not. It's not like a main staircase or anything going anywhere. It's just where where scale scouted. Yeah, I think <laughs> Sirik will attempt to position himself just so he can have a quick, you know, see <laughs> what's co- going down that hallway. So if anyone comes it. up with it, so I got it twenty two. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were flipping the V's. You, I mean, I think the twenty two. You, you know, you you have no knowledge of Loth and her religion, but. Um, with a 22, it, it, that is really all as much as you can see. I probably told you as much as you're going to get. It's about, it's um, loth related. It's, it's a loth related ritual altar, but you know, it could be for many, many reasons. Also different rituals probably can be cast there and stuff as a focus. There are these sort of alabaster spiders um, around it and then a star-shaped um, receptacle with some sort of liquid, that very, very dark um, uh, sort of water type uh, in the top. Got it. <laughs> the loath altar of Did lottery. You drink the liquid tomorrow? No, 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 no. <laughs> Garvin, go drink the water. No, the... Uh... <laughs> Uh, Mara will check the door as stealthily as she can. Okay, roll stealth. Right. Wow. I'm gonna. Can I fill? Can I fill a I'll vial move of up. the water? Mm-hmm. Mara takes. Hey, there, roll a dexterity saving throw. Mara takes a deep breath. Uh, numbers are hard. Uh, oh no! Wait. Dirty t- Sorry, sorry, yeah, you, you fill a vial without uh, managing to avoid touching the, the surface of the water. I have that number that comes after two. Okay. No, after one, I mean, after one. Yeah. Okay. Well, there, every number comes after one. <laughs> <laughs> I think he means directly, stop being Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just asked Jabber to stop being facetious. I don't, facetious, think, he's, yeah. I don't think he's capable of doing that. Yeah. So I, think, I think Mara, with, with a three, you go there and you're trying to be super quiet and you actually stumble and fall through the door. 
Oh. Uh, but so, oh. you're okay because there's nothing in this room. Yeah. As Mark kind of turns around, no. Oh. But you see, you see, this is some sort of armor armory. There are ah. chainmail and breastplates, leather armor, weapon racks, and things like that around the uh, the walls. Anything sticks out. Make a perception check. What is the most valuable thing in the room? <laughs> yeah. I can use all of my actions just to prop everything for value. I uh, hate that feat so much. <laughs> Tell me what it's worth. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 26. Um, nothing leaps out at you, as in to say there, 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 there are many things of value, but for the most part, they are just fairly... Um, standard um quality items and um, yeah. the armor is probably the most i'm just actually double checking the value of things and um, probably the most expensive thing in here is there's a couple of uh, sets of splint mail that you would know are a couple of hundred gold pieces um most of it is sort of chain shirts <clears throat> okay yeah um, just... Weapon-wise, there's rapiers and short swords for the most part. Um, there's no particularly large, expensive um, weaponry. Why are there any hand crossbows? Uh, yeah, there would be a few hand crossbows, but I mean, you guys have had one in your possession for yeah. like w weeks without using it, so that's why Isn't I didn't. <laughs> so I was going to say there are lots of weapons in here like hand crossbows does anybody want one garvin you want a crossbow I can't hear you. what are you saying what is she mouthing God. mara will gesture come come here the uh <laughs> You've been such a dick tonight yeah. i know <laughs> such a dick <laughs> Silence. Mara will remember this. I mean, we, don't, we don't use silence so often, so it's just nice to be with her. She'll remember this, as opposed to the oh, yeah. spells she chose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, uh, okay, so how many minutes has passed, we'll say? Let, let's say you've got another four minutes because okay. there's been a bit of fucking around and searching and stuff. But it is, it is by then. There's not lots of nooks and crannies. So it's not like there'll be a, a glow on still... on uh, Alton's finger as he heals back up to full. Okay. Um. Do we want to go down to those drow in the below? There's another door down there too. I don't know really where it leads, but. There seemed I saw two, and I heard more than that down. Um, she is meaning is, this one, right? Or, is there uh, any? This... Is there any way that we could bypass Which those drow? Uh, maybe oh. there's a uh, Mara, and and Alton will follow you in. Mm -hmm. Oh hi, how are you? Oh look, there's loads of weapons and stuff here. Want a crossbow? Um. Welcome to my store. <laughs> um, kid, hey, kid, want a crossbow? Is there any... Uh... <laughs> I think Alton will... Uh... I got heavy crossbows, I got light crossbows, I got hand crossbows. <laughs> oh, crossbows the... are us. My name's Chris the Crossbow. <laughs> right, so... Alton we have so... to go to that store. I don't uh... carry the way. Yes, you're a good man. Um, we all do it. Uh, Alton is going to investigate the room for if there's any secret way out, essentially. Absolutely. Hey, roll the investigation. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. That is uh, 21. Yeah, you you spend probably another couple of minutes going because it's not there's not a lots of of things to, to look at as I say nooks and crannies, but uh, you're quite confident there's only the two doorways that you're aware of in and out of this place. Hmm. Two doors. Mm -hmm. There's one the, there. the the door we just and came in there. and the main door. Got it. Also, you're on a different layer, so we didn't see your pings again. 
shit. I'm so not <laughs> used to doing maps, sorry. There. Um, there we are. Yeah. Where was um, the second thing? This, it, joking aside, I like doing this occasionally for big things, but yeah. I, I would struggle doing this all the time because it is quite a lot of work. Major props to folk that do it all the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, you I work on it all week long to do to like set up maps, and it's just oh, hours of dynamic lighting. Garvin, do you want to cross? This doesn't even have dynamic lighting. I've, this has just got fog of war. I've not even done yeah. the dynamic lighting. Don't bother. Anyway, nah, yeah. Apologies. Uh, so, yeah, you you move out. Sirik and Scale, are you joining the rest of your companions in the north room, or? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> Garvin, do you want a crossbow? You can, like, that's just you, you can just decide because you've got control of them as far as something like that's concerned. If you want him to have a crossbow, give him it. Yeah, he'll take a crossbow. I think he can, he can find a light crossbow. Um, yeah, slightly, in the same. Slightly, slightly better than. Garvin might be a good idea if you. But to go out there and help bring in the bodies? What are we? What are, are we right. gonna hang out in here? Um, I think for the it it, it serves as a, a good a good way of if someone were to come up the stairs there that they wouldn't notice immediately. What? Well, I mean, aren't we gonna go down the stairs, or are we going this? Way? Sure, but you have to understand we have a door on the other side too. Over, oh, so, like, okay. people could come behind us and, you know. Yeah, makes sense. I'm just winging it, Scale, you know. I but know, who, I just... Who cares? I, I know that there are people who know we are in here downstairs, and it's concerning. Mm, they don't know that we're necessarily in here. We covered our tracks. No, no, I mean they know that we are in the building. They knew we were coming from the start. They can see us with magic. We just have oh, to hope that wrong. we we have to hope that we get there before the magic is used on us again. Yeah. yeah. Well, then let's check the other door here. Hmm. Which door? Sorry, I do wonder. Yeah, which door? Well, he said there are two doors in here. No, no. Um, he's, yeah, he so he said the just, one you saw that, and that the one, one there and that one there. You did it on the jam there again. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That one there. I'll here, tell you what. I'll bloody draw them. Yeah, you can use the you can use the arrow button to, to point. That's what oh. I tended. Oh, okay. Oh, I see those tiny little not, doors. Not if you're in the gem yeah. layer, because that doesn't show up either. Okay. Those 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 purple lines are so slightly around that one square fucking floor, but I see them. I see them. Okay. So we know we know through this door our. Assassins. Uh huh. Uh, isn't it here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's through that door. Yeah, they were last seen there. Oh no, yeah. So I've I've pinged the GM layer again. There we go. There you go. They were last, they were last seen there. The last seen there. There was t- definitely two plus. Yeah, and there was movement. Movement up here was where you were hearing them. Yeah. I'm wondering. But the other the other thing you do know is now three or four minutes have passed since then. So whether they are still there or they've moved on or not is, is un, un, yeah. uncertain. I wonder if we could go ask the guys who put on the dead guard's clothing, if they could go in there and tell them that it's fine, but they need to go out and hunt for the guys on the docks. So we take them make, it, make an bed. intelligence check, uh, Mara. Yes. Let's see. On to this one. In real life. Twenty-one. You know that they all speak a language none of you speak. No, the 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 drow outside. Oh, our drow. Right, our your drow. You. They were quite clear that their Jarlaxle had told them to. Not to get involved. That's why you were getting. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And they were just to defend your escape route. Yeah, they're uh, the background actors. It's fine. 
Oh, did these demons get desummoned when we killed? When we killed I think them? I think what I was just about to say that as Garvin drags them through, but they're sort of horrible, almost like ichor like tar, and they're just slowly dissipating into a horrible pool of ichor. We all prepared for the next bout. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm prepared. I'm ready. I'm ready. They may have moved on since they may have but we have to prepare yeah. for what sounded like more than two at least i'm gonna listen at the door see if i hear him yep perception check should i well i think so we could join you at this point he's been standing out yeah, here in the hole so. that's fine uh 30 Ooh, look at you you made it to 30 you hear nothing Alright. Uh, I don't hear anything, so shall we check? Yep, yep, <clears throat> yep. Um, get away, Alvin, get away from directly behind the door. And then I'm gonna open it. Okay, you open it, and there's nothing visible. I'm gonna, oh, okay. I was, yeah, I open it so it's like I'm mm -hmm. behind the door. And there's nothing visible. Just is this here we're talking about? No, just I'm just in here. That, just that in oh, this room. okay, okay. Yeah. So you don't you don't have line of sight to where you last saw them, but you can't see yeah. anything. Yeah, I'm gonna poke out. Yep. And there's nobody where you last saw them. And you can't hear any movement like you did the last right, time. Right. I will, uh... Mara will look into this room. Do I have... Excuse me? You don't see anything in that room when you look okay. into it. Are you... Did you say you were poking your head around the corner, or, uh, Scale? Uh, I am, uh, 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 pulling out, uh, wrist shirt and <laughs> crawling him crawling him along the ground into the room and giving him the command wait wave your middle finger if you see somebody oh my god okay. <laughs> crawl him into the room he jumps down scuttles down your leg and into the room and uh, he just sort of you can see him sort of scanning around and then he sort of does a wee jump and just goes like that <laughs> 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 I will go in. <laughs> and... Another wee antechamber. Um, there's a small box that sort of comes as a seat. And there are two doorways here. Uh, just to make them easier. Oh, bear, bear, bear with me. Ah. Uh, uh. Draw regular, I'll make it large so they're easier to see. So, oh no, sorry, I've don't ignore that one. There's one there, and there's one there. Got it. I love that the color you have is like the color for secret doors in the in Icewind Dale and Baldur's Gate. In my mind, I hear the sound for secret door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <gasps> All right, I retrieve. I retrieve my shirt and. Uh... Hey, he scuttle up and sort of hangs out in your shoulder. Yeah. Check out this box. Mm -hmm. You want to just open it? So or... no, <laughs> absolutely not. Sneaky deaky. He's assuming everything is trapped, by the way. Fair enough. Yeah, he does not fair. trust the, the evil drow. So he's just going to do a quick investigation just to see if he can see. Or whatever you want me to do, I guess. Yeah, he's no, no, investigation for. Yeah, that's, that's right. Natural 20. <laughs> hey! Un unlocked, untrapped. <laughs> right. And it just, it just seems to be sort of general adventuring items. There's maybe a couple of bedrolls, some canvas. Um, 
couple of empty like lanterns and torches and things like that, that sort of stuff. You'll take the lanterns. Mm -hmm. I think, say there's like three flasks of oil to charge them as well. He'll take the oil. Uh, does this look like a stairwell? No. This is a tough one. Uh... I will. The, the one thing Scale does know is the the noises that she heard earlier. Let me check what layer I'm in. Where at, up this bit? So you think? Okay. She thinks the passage of the drow that she saw and the unseen ones went in this direction, which, Got it. as you can see, is pretty close to to where you saw at the front door. The front door. Got it. Uh, I'm going to perception this door. Listen. Listen in. I'm just gonna like as a side, Mara will be checking the value of the the bedroll things just to take her mind off the situation for a while. So should we just be good quality? Can't tell if that's a nine or a six. Could be a dot Mara somewhere. Should be a dot yeah. on Show it Is to it us. Dot on the bottom? Yeah, that's a six. That's okay. a six. No, that's a nine. No, they're there's a they're on the bottom of both of them, so Yeah, so if it's on the bottom then it's a six. Yeah. Plus what? three plus a no. nine. For me, the, dot, the dot is on the bottom of the nine and yeah. the six. So From where the, the dot is is, is the right way up. Yeah. Wherever the dot's on the bottom of the way up. Yes. So uh yeah. Yeah, I yeah, it's eight eight. 16. 18. 16. 18. 8, 8, 8, 18. You can 22. hear a lot of shuffling as though people are putting armor and armor arms on. Uh, I will. Uh, da, da, do da, do da, da. I'll look very concerned and point to the door. I take it, Sirik, by the way, you've yeah. followed them, you've not hung out. You wouldn't have real fast, so... Yeah. Oh, right, okay. I'll, I'll move on. Alton will listen to this door if you can. Yep. Perception check. 16. Yep. Um, you... Isn't Sirik Cordon? Yeah. Yeah. You, oh, have, you, yeah. you have to be within thirty feet. That's why I was checking that Sirik was there. I didn't see that uh, Emeros had, had to step away for a wee minute. Okay. Um, so that's fine. We we can just because he did say he was going to keep it up as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're if you're ever within thirty feet of him and someone else is within thirty feet of him, then you can speak uh, using it. Yeah. Um, um, Alton, with that. Uh, you, very vaguely, but you can hear sounds here, a bit of a commotion. Um, not too difficult for someone of you to know that, that the previous shattered bodies have probably been found by the people that uh, Scale saw and heard. Um, there's, I believe they like found people our, putting armor on. They found the bodies there, near where we put down the first lot of drow. You can probably sneak around that, the back of them while they are busy. Okay, because there's people in this door putting on armor, so we should... They will be here soon, then. Be careful. Garvin. Or, or, yes. So, well, more of um, Mara and Garvin, can you get by this door without letting them know that you're getting by this door? Aye. If they're putting armor on, maybe it's the best to try and burst in and surprise them whilst they're That's a, not... Yeah, well, they're unarmored. Yeah. So let's... Very well. Let's let's get in there. Mara corrects her helmet. There. Uh yeah. Uh, uh we're gonna I'm gonna get out of the way for Garvin to uh do his plan of burst in there and assault them while they're naked. I'm preparing uh Alton is there with the fireball ready. Okay. Surprise uh, motherfuckers. And Sir with an eldritch blast, so Yeah, yeah well, that's fine. That's so just fine. Again, like the last time, depending on what happens, you'll probably get a surprise round. Um, so 
Garvin opens the door, and I'll let I'll reveal it before you can decide what he does, um, Mara. Right. Um, so from there, I mean, he has his battle axe ready, but yeah, I know, but uh, yeah, you don't he attacks the exactly, darkness. Exactly what's there. Bear with me. I'm being very careful to reveal what can be revealed. Are we getting into the changing rooms? Um, that looks like a bed. Bear with me. Oh! There we go. Ah. So at that angle, that's, that's as much because there is a second door here, but it is open. Ah. Uh... I've put it in the wrong bloody layer again. Can no, yeah, but it's it's here, right? Yeah, we can see the opening. Can I ask if the door is like that or like that? Um, so you can see him. We have to. Yeah, it would be like that. Yeah. So Garvin will sort of try and creep as like close against this wall as possible. What what I would say is now for 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 Garvin the. As soon as that door is kind of open, they'll be able to see Garvin. Okay. Uh, so, but you will all get a surprise round now. Yeah, yeah. Before we roll initiative. Uh, let's take Garvin first because this is fairly simple. You will run well, forward. I think I think we'll we'll do what we normally do is roll initiative. So everyone. Oh, acts in, in I thought you order. said before initiative. Eighteen for me. Well, I mean, before they get, you'll get a surprise round. I should yeah. say so. Uh, 22. Zurich gets an 18. Alton gets a 22. Garvin gets a 5. <laughs> uh, and Mara gets a 19. 16 foam scale. Okay. <laughs> As ever, Alton goes first. <laughs> uh, Alton will quickly scoot to here. Yep. Um, and. Fireball. Okay. Yep. Oh, and Centered there. Mark, the, mark what 20 feet is there. Uh, yep. Uh, draw on a shape. Yep. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Not a problem. Um, dexterity saving checks. Yep. First one's a natural 20. Second one is an 11. More happens. Third <laughs> one is a ten, and fourth one is an eighteen. Yeah, anything under eighteen fails. Or sorry, anything under seventeen fails. Excuse me. Okay, so that's two passes, two fails. Yeah. Twelve. Uh. <clears throat> eighteen. Twenty-two. 25, 29, 32. You hear a tremendous explosion, um, and a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but several voices cry out. Um, the two that you can see are instantly incinerated. Didn't we at one point establish that Garvin knows under common but would never speak it? No, he would. Okay. He refused to learn it for that reason. Mm. Uh, can I use my bonus action to throw in some of the oil I just got? <laughs> After uh, probably not a bonus action. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, cool. You can use the bonus action to drink it. I'm good. Oh. Weirdly enough, I'm good. Shugging oh, down oil. Because Alton will get to reveal a wee bit more. Uh, he'll no, the move, orphanage. He'll have moved in there, so you probably get there. They were beds. They're mattresses. Yeah, the operative. They were beds. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They are now a blazing wreck. So you can yeah. see you have killed at least three drow with your fireball. I think with that, Alton will sort of motion to the others. Go. 
And we all wait for you. You are second in the initiative order. Right. So Mara's just. She shakes her head and she just runs at first to the doorway. To here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of ready with a uh, sacred flame against anything threatening. You will see that. And that's another dead drow that's revealed there. And you'll probably have seen like that. Oh, the drow. They went to the mattresses. Housekeeping. (laughs) (laughs) Do we have any more lemon pledge? Housekeeping. Oh, that guy's dead. Yes, good job. So then Mara will... Let's see. So that was... Or well, it would have been by... 25 eight, feet. 30 feet. Well, yeah. Yeah, say 25. You say you've got five feet left if you want to yeah. step so in. She'll, she'll sort of do the... Uh, as far as her understand, the, the police, you know, she checks around the corner and hops in ready to cast the uh, the flame. Mm-hmm. What is sacred? So you reveal that there were seven drow in here and there are only three shocked drow kind of in their underwear, half in armor, half out armor. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Hello, gentlemen. Uh, Mara casts Sacred Flame on the closest one. Okay. Suddenly, Mara's dressed like a plumber or a pizza yeah. boy. <laughs> it's me, Mara. <laughs> I'm here to affix your pipe. I know. I know you were going in a different direction. Yeah, it was yeah. it? I like it though. <laughs> yeah, you passed me, but I thought that was funny. Yeah, and again, is... <laughs> Jeremy did make that. The he rolled a four, so uh, your sacred sacred flame finds purchase. Yep. And the way that Mara's sacred flame works is that they basically show up tiny flame spirits made out of light that attack people. So they pop into existence and deal seven damage. Okay. Not quite enough to kill, but... Gah! Gah! Still... That's what he says. Gah! Gah. <laughs> Any bonus action or anything, Mara? Uh, No. Okay, um, after Mara is Sirik. Oh, yes. Cast healing word on them. Of course. <laughs> Mass healing word. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I was a traitor all along. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. No. Let's see. Suppose. Uh, how did you do the measuring thingy? <laughs> There's, like, a circle with a ruler yeah. under the, the magnifier. Each square is five feet, basically. Top, uh, the, yeah. Yeah, there's top, yeah. a mouse up in the top left corner. The uh, There's a mouse, a paintbrush, a magnifying thing, and a magnifying glass, and a circle with a tiny ruler. What are you trying to find out? We can probably just help you with that. Yeah, I was wondering if I could actually get into the room. What's your movement? I think it's 30. You can get to the just the doorway, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Then that's what I'll do. It is an open doorway, if that helps. Um, yeah, I think oh. you can... Uh, yeah, that's right. You can get down next to Mara. Ah. I'll do it then. I wonder what, ha- what happens now. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to take a guess. Bear with me. I'll move that... Uh, it gets a bit funky when there's two. Um... Yep, yeah, sure. Yeah. So I'll just I'll move them out of the way. Kicks away the bodies. The fireball just exploded just them pop, away. Pop. Yeah. yeah. The gore all over the walls. Stay the uh, line. Let's see. Let's <laughs> so... <laughs> line, Warlock. Yeah. Eldritch Blast. A 27 to hit on first. <laughs> and. That does hit. 19 on the second one. Both of those hit. Roll the first one first. Just yeah. give me it, because there's a chance you might kill the first one with one. Yeah, that's a 
total of 16 points of damage on the first. Yep. Holy shit. It goes down. And that's max damage on the second one, so that's 17. Damn. <laughs> Bang. Yeah, po po, two dead. Sweet. Um, I'm going to use a healing word on myself, which will heal for max. So that's 84 now. Super. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Not a problem. Uh, scale, you are next. Yep. The and swagger. I will, uh, <laughs> I will uh, tumble, roll, do some flips, mm -hmm. car wheel, and shoot, shoot sonar waves. <laughs> <laughs> That's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 14 to hit. Uh, 14 does hit because they've not got their naked, armor on. Naked yeah. boy. Yeah. And then more. So They've got like a, a, a sort of Roman style loincloth on and there's not wangs flapping about in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> what they four, say about four damage. Are true. Four damage for the first hit. Okay. Eight damage for the second hit. He is looking pretty Third close hit. To edge. Third hit is five damage. And you, what does it? Has have you ever seen scale kill someone with this power before? What does that actually look like? Uh, I think it's how I imagine it, because it's like. I'm doing it based on like water sonar waves. I think they're all just like focusing on the body, and then after like obviously three hits of it, they just kind of start bleeding from the ears and just kind of fall over. Oh, it's like one of those sound things, the v vibration yeah. that they do. Yeah. They did. Or just, yeah, just like the, because the, it's doing like more internal damage than external damage. So it's like breaking organs and bones inside of them. It's, just, it's like a weaponized Aquaman. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, they like cough up. They just like cough up blood and just fall over. A weaponized Aquaman. Yeah. Aquaman doesn't have any weapons. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Speak to my fish friends. They'll deal with this shit. I don't know. He has a pretty good power of recasting. Damn well, with Jason Momoa. <laughs> but who's? I guess. I guess that it's Garvin next in the turn order. Uh, yes, it is. So he's gonna run in. I mean, he he'll make it about there when I mentioned before. <gasps> when he gets oh. out of breath. <sighs> oh Jesus! Leave some for me. <laughs> like just the stink of burnt drow and like matches full, full on Gimli. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> I love it, like, every shot when they were running across the plains, they all started, like, at the same place, but then Gimli always got behind, so the next one... Eh. <laughs> okay. Yep. <clears throat> uh, does he do anything, uh, Mara? I mean, there's nothing else to attack in there, right? Nope. Alton, it is you. Okay. Um... A close. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving you in initiative at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah. close this door. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I'm pretty much out of movement. Mm. Probably. Yes. Yeah. So I'll just leave it there. You'll watch the door. Okay. Uh, Mara. Uh, Mara will investigate this chest of Maru down here. First okay. for traps. Okay, investigation. I don't actually remember what my investigation is. Probably not great. Investigation? Mm hmm. Investigation. No, no. <laughs> but I roll well. So that is 23. Oh, yeah. No, wait, no, wait. 20. One. 
I forget it's half. Okay. Um, no traps, but it is locked. Uh, okay, so Mara will say in Siri record. It's, it's locked. It's not trapped, but it's locked. I can give it a go if you like. Sure. Or I can just break it. Sure. Yeah. Tra- first tra- come, first serve. Trying to be quiet. You launched a fireball. That's right. That's why you've cast Shatter and Fireball now. I don't have anything quiet. He says I'm not. Don't say we're trying to be quiet. <laughs> Fine. Um, do you do anything else, Mara, or uh, we move on? It's Siric after you. Uh, in the turn? Could I? Could she do a general perception in the room? Mm-hmm. Is there anything in here? Oh, that's just an eighteen. Nothing else in the room that you. Okay. Can... I mean, okay. what sort of thing was she trying to, to look for, I should ask? Because perception might not have been the skill. No, no, yeah, but she's looking around if there might be, like, uh, uh, a, a slit in the wall to look out of, or a, a door that we forgot about, or anything. No. Okay. This is, this is, a, this is a sort of a, a barracks, and it is a cul-de-sac. There's no other way out. Okay. That is my turn. Okay, super duper. Um, I have just realised I've totally fucked up and missed something that I should have shown you, but it's not problematic. Apologies. I will just reveal that now because it's the people that Scale have seen emptied another room. Sorry, because I'm not used to this. Oh. Oh. There was another door there. I apologize. Oh. I will. I will say there is nothing in there because it is the people that uh, Scale saw exited that yeah. room. Uh, but apologies, <laughs> apologies, apologies. <laughs> uh, I should have told you that. Um, Sirik, are you doing anything? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna see if there. Was there? Can I see if there is another way out? From no, there's, there's, there's no other way out. There was none. No. Uh, there's only the one back. So there's two, there's two back doors there. behind you. Yeah, there's that one, and then there's one at the other end of that corridor that I forgot yeah, yeah, to tell I'm you about. Here. Yeah, I'll go. Just go and check this one real quick. Well, this door is well, shut. We're, you're you're it. still in you're still in initiative. So put yourself back where you were because you can only move. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll move up to here then, just to have a look out here, so I can uh, okay. see this. Alton has shut that well, door. She... Unless you wanna. Oh yeah, I'll shut that door because we heard people yeah. up those. Oh, the north we heard I, I, up I, I those... yeah. Obviously, discuss talking's a free action. So if Alton sees, certain... yeah, he would say hey, going to the door. You can sort of sit down. It's not a problem. Very well. I think then he would just. Uh, Move up to the corner where he's, where's, mm-hmm. where he's sitting right now, uh, facing the yeah. door with some... Are you trying to average. do anything while um, you're there? No, I'm just uh, holding an Eldritch okay. Blast to see if anyone opens the door, then they're going to get What's into the What's your face. passive perception? It is... Dun, dun, dun. Passive perception. I don't even know where it says it on the sheet. Yeah, I, I, don't, think, I don't think it actually does. It's 10 plus your skill. 10 plus my wisdom. I thought... Yeah. yeah. It's 10 plus whatever your perception skill is. Yeah. Your oh, passive. Right. So it's 17. 17 then. Didn't we talk about last time that it actually was just plus your modifier? You don't have... You don't have plus 7 to your wisdom. No. Oh, to my, oh, oh. you mean... Wis- oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, conflicting I, things. Not skill. 13 then. Keep, yeah. Because I would have had 20 fucking three passive, so... No. It's just 10 plus your wisdom modifier, that's it. Okay, um, well, so that's fine. Um, after you, it is scale. Yeah, uh, I will... Uh... Ch- 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 
check at uh, any secret doors. Investigation check. Gross, I don't like that roll. Eleven. No secret doors, but you cool. find a sort of a combined of about 80 gold coins that are sort of stuffed into slips in the mattresses that various of the drow have hidden away. Yes, I accept those. The flames probably any... dissipate to a gold, revealing gold beneath. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there is any secret doors in these mattresses. <laughs> Um, anything else, Gail? No. Nah. Okay. Um, does Garvin go over and break your lock for you, uh, Mara? Yes. Okay. Um, strength check. Right, right. Fifteen. Yeah, it's not. It's not a super good chest. He manages to to break the lock and open it up. Um, I've not decided what. Treasure, it is a minor treasure, but if you just put like basic drow treasure and I'll work it out after the stream so as not to bore everybody on rolling on uh, on I'll treasure it, tables and stuff like that. Um, but I'll tell you before. Holding. Yeah, I'll tell just remind me midweek or something and I'll do it before next week's uh, stream. You said basic drow treasure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Triage. Uh, where are we? Dragon scale armor. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do 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 do. everyone. Use right. the code. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alton, it is you again. Uh. Yeah, I mean, Alton's gonna wait till everyone's finished in there before he does anything. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't think people should be splitting up. Uh, probably through Syracords, you'll probably hear <clears throat> whoever's in range. We'll probably hear. Um... <clears throat> I believe it's probably time to go again. Yes, let's not waste time. Yeah. Okay. Um. After Alton, it is you, Mara. Ma Mara shall venture. Wait, so the, that one was 10 there. Have a listen at the door before you go straight out. <laughs> uh, I thought this... No, yeah, you closed this one. Yep. Yeah. So first, yeah. yeah, I shall do a perception check. Mm, I'm not sure. You said I was going through the door. Yeah. Fair enough. I did say that. I did I'm say also that. not sure she can make it as far as the door. Where but I measure... She was second up from... She was just above Garvin. Yeah, you can make it just to the door. Yeah. What? Yeah, because you're... We're, right 15. Now. No, oh, no, di made... you can't You can't just do diagonals, because diagonal, that's... Not the way it works. <laughs> diagonals. Uh, right. See, if you do it like that... Because this, do... this technically is... Yeah, this is 10... This would actually be 15 feet, technically. Yeah, because you're on a diagonal. Diagonal. What? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because a diagonal is seven point five yeah. feet. Right, you can you can get to the one outside the door, and that's what I do then. Did not know that we had special rules for diagonals. That's that's not special. That's not special. <laughs> that is not a house rule. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I just don't remember reading it in the player's handbook. Yeah, it is there. Um, anyway, no let's not think. <laughs> so as you open the door, you are surprised by four Silken Woe assassins that are obviously coming back <laughs> yeah. on, on hearing the That's fireball. <laughs> right, right. But it's still, it's still your action. You've still got an action yeah, yeah, yeah. and a bonus action. Mara, Mara will through Syracord. Mara, Mara's going to get seriously chipped in a minute. Yeah. Hang on, though. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. To be fair, Terror did say that he would listen at the door. Did he make that perception check? 
he said that after you said the door was shut and he'd walked through it. Actually. Okay, okay, that's how you yeah, ruled. Which, that's fine. Which that's is fine. why that's why I ruled like that. That's cool. I just wasn't. <clears> I didn't <throat> hear the ruling. Cool. Mara is going to say through Siri cord, "Shit!" And <laughs> uh, and then she is to cast. Boo doo doo doo! Spirit guardians. Ooh, Good idea. Good idea. Yeah, come at me, bro. Let's see the. Uh, uh, I think roll twenty. <sighs> the spirits. There we are. Right when you cast it, fourth level or higher. The damage increased by 1d8 for each slot above third. Right. So what level are you casting it at, then? Uh, let's see. Spirit Guardian is level 3. I'm so fucking tempted to do it at level 5. Um, level 4. Okay. Shtabam! Uh, and... Now, in, in a fit of panic... The one thing I will say, and the, just so Mara will know this to potentially um, warn her friends, you can only designate creatures you can see that are not affected. So at this moment in time, Alton is the only person that you can designate to be unaffected by your spirit guardians. Appreciate it, babes. Really? I... Okay. It it specifically yeah. says that in the spell. It's only creatures you can see that you designate to be unaffected. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah. Is she <laughs> related yeah. to this? You just started a party blender by mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mara will Mara will cast it. And unlike as usual, this time what will instead appear is just a man with silver skin and golden eyes, who seems to be wearing very simple robes, and she's just kind of—he's just kind of standing next to Mara. Yes. Mara goes, Salintar. Okay. Well, oh, bless um, you. Scale, you are next in the turn order. Yeah, I see a huge fucking glowing aura through that door. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, uh, Scale isn't. Uh, Civic is. I didn't think so. It's Sirik, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw against Mara's DC. Which is? Eighteen. Turn in her uh, in her spirit guardian aura. Yep. Oh yeah. What's your DC? Eighteen. 18. Sorry, babe. Uh. So. Yeah. I, wisdom. Yeah. My twenty-six. I should, I should be fine. She, she still take half damage, so yeah. um, if you roll your 48. Yeah. Yes. Um, 20 damage. So you uh, take t t 10 radiant damage, uh, Sirik. And it's not plus anything, no. No, it's just the, the straight dice dice rolls. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and, and what he does Five. when he does the effect is that he's just kind of holds up his hand and there's just almost like a soft silvery wind that seems to come from his hand. Nice. <laughs> it just kind of uh, presumably permeates through the wall or it does go around the door. Yeah, it like doors and stuff don't affect it. <laughs> Sirix is melting in the corner. <laughs> Very strong smell. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's Ooh. awesome. It smells like burnt snake. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna uh, make, keep an make, make an arcana check, uh, Sirix. We'll probably we'll we'll finish this turn order and then we'll probably finish the session for the day. So there's only scale and uh, eleven to go by and Garvin. Um, eleven. I think it's quite clear. This seems like a spell that Mara casts from time to time. That's been affecting. I did you. warn them. You warned us after. 
<laughs> I did warn them, she says. But no, no, but 11, he knows 11, it is. With an 11, you don't know enough about the spell as to how it works. So you, although I've visually represented the spell effect on uh, roll 20, you're not exactly sure where the edge of the spell effect is. That is fine. So what would you like to do, Sarek? Uh, yeah, I'll run down. Mm -hmm. PR. Yep. And uh, backhand Mara. <laughs> <laughs> Double Eldritch Blast to the back of the skull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Concentration lost. Uh, well spent, no. fourth level spell. Well, I'm. Um, do I have direct vision of those? Yeah. You can see the you can see the bottom two. The bottom two. I don't think that matters when. Um, well, well, since apparently mo these guys are already aware of our location, I'm gonna use my, a third level shatter on them. Okay. Damn. Is that a dexterity saving throw? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Con, I believe. Yeah, it might be Con. Con. Let's see. Con. Is... Yeah, Con. Con is better because it's only plus one. So I'll Ooh. go from top to, to bottom. Well, better for you. So first one gets a 16. Second one gets an 11. Third one gets a 15. Fourth one gets an 11. So I think that's four fails, isn't it? Indeed. Nice. So, three d ten. That's dead good. That is. <laughs> I think it's. Isn't it d eight? On shatter. Three d eight. Yeah, three d eight. Oh, is it d eight? Four, no, four, yeah. four d eight. Yeah, yeah four d eight. Yeah. Four d eight. Which is like three d ten. Yes. Like the In same my thing. heart. Except better. Because it's less, it's less swingy. So that's Custom. 24 to all of them. Okay. They definitely recoil in a lot of pain, but they are all still intact. Um, I suppose I can't use an Eldritch Blast combined with that, right? No, no, no. Uh, very well. I'll just do... No, never mind. No, sorry, forgot. Uh, the rules for a mo second. Uh, no, I'll just move back a few steps. I think if anything has proven tonight, uh, Emeros, I forget the rules as much, if not more, than everybody else. So <laughs> don't worry about that at all. Um, hey, okay. Skill, it is you this time. Apologies. Can I see through this door between those two? I'd say you definitely see uh, one of them at the very least. I actually think more than cool. anything. Yeah, probably it's probably the one, one down the left. Slightly yeah. further back one. Yeah. Cool. I will uh, shoot some shoot some water at him. Okay. You bring up your water pistol. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen just hits. Hey. Second attack. Less. <laughs> Second attack misses. Yeah. <laughs> Gathered that. Um, eight damage. Very badly damaged, but still clinging on to life. Ah. Uh, third attack. Do you know. Can you do that as a thing? I, thought... I, I, I can do a one bonus action unless I flurry, which then becomes two bonus actions. I thought the bonus action had to be melee. Oh, does it? <sighs> I don't want to <laughs> look it up because it's too late in the game. I don't care. Never mind right. it. I'm, I'm I'll look it up for next session. I, as as you know, I have played a monk. I think it is it the, the bonus and it has to be an unarmed strike. Well, the this range attack counts as an arm strike. All oh, right, does it. in that case, in that case, yeah. do it. That's fine. That's that's a difference. Sorry, uh, five home, home brawl, y'all. Damage 
or to hit. Oh, five, shit. five dam five damage. Uh, it was uh, twenty to hit. Sir, I gave you the wrong number. You took fifteen, not twenty. Very well. Because the first two were so five, and this one is these two are at ten. So I give you the wrong number. Okay. Uh, that is you. The silken wool. Start their turn. Oh, I'm moving. I'm moving back. They, they, okay, they move up. Oh man, Omara. Before they move, the last one shouts behind him. Yeah. Very loudly warning something that you can't. And then he also casts darkness. Uh, three three so, wisdom saves for them, though. Yeah. Yeah. What for? for the, they started their turn. The guardians. Oh, sorry. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Apologies. Uh, what is their wisdom? Of course. Christ, yeah. That is a strong mm -hmm. spell. Fourth level, though, so it's costly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First one is a fail. Well, it's level three, but I made it level four. So, uh, yeah. But two, pa it's two fails and a pass, Mara. Right. So 22 to the ones who Ooh, uh, nice. fail. They and so 11. They are all toast. Oh, my God. So he just lifts Slow up his hand. And... Actually, this time he doesn't actually lift his hand like that. He just kind of gives a motion like he's giving them something and just sort of a spray of coins, just sort of bash them against the walls. <laughs> And then he just looks to Mara. He makes it rain. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And Mara kind of... Mara looks up at the uh, the figure. Thank you, my lord. I thought your lord was Joaquin. You can ask her about it in character in the future. Or you can be like Alton and not really know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think scale is just with Alton on that. Yeah. <laughs> Despite the fact you damaged Cyric, uh, that was fairly clutch because they would probably have killed you that turn. Yeah. Even, oh my yeah, god, yeah. Even, three even of them? Three of them. Because um, they're all assassins, so they get. Yeah. Did he have a chance to yell? He would have free action. Because at the start of his turn. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't have yelled. <gasps> because it's, at, it's the first. The damage is the first thing that happens. That is. So, he kinda... so, they, so the yell did not. Oh my happen. god, Mara. Mara. Mara with the clutch moment. <laughs> Holy shit! Thank you, Joaquin. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. On one hand, oh, no, she'll never shut over. up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, thank you, Joaquin, for this day. Right. Um, <laughs> on on yes. that note, <laughs> Jabber, do you want to uh... yes. take it away, Jabber? I will clear us out. Thank you once again, everybody, for joining us this Sunday for Saviors D and D. Uh, our weekly Dungeons and Dragons stream on twitch.com slash saves D D. Um we did get one follow during the week. It was uh Dirt Squad RPG. Thank you, Dirt Squad. Thanks. Uh, we Thanks, appreciate bro. that and everything. Um as always you can find us on YouTube. Uh feel free to find over the course of the week we will be uploading our videos. Yeah. Uh on Twitter we're relatively active. Feel free to send us a message. We will reply. Typically, pretty swiftly, because there are four of us on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you, we have a. I think that's it. Uh, thank you once again. Uh, in the future, look for more content coming from us. Possibly other games. Possibly a rebranding. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows at this point? And we'll see you in the same time, same place next week. Yep. 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 I still don't have an outro, so next we'll all, we'll all get one one week. <laughs> Bye. Keep fucking. That's my outro. outro. <laughs>